folks, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about CloudWatch log retention. If you have a lot of applications, Lambda functions or containers running in your account, all of them will be sending their log information to the CloudWatch log group. And by default, all this information will be retained for an indefinite period of time. For better management of your applications and for easier troubleshooting, you should prune these logs to a finite period or it might be for cost saving reasons also. So the easiest way to do is set up a Lambda function which will automatically scan your account for all the log groups without a log retention period and attach a log retention period. It might be 4 days, 7 days or 15 days depending upon the compliance requirements or your application team requirements and you can run it every single day so that any new log that is also created will have the policy and by simple enforcement of this policy you can make sure the cost in your account comes down and also make sure that the best practices is enforced and if you are doing it in a lambda function you can run it for all the regions as of now your account has been deployed with so let us go ahead and see how we can do this in our account all the necessary information on how to do this is in this github article i'll put the link in the description so that you can follow along with me the first prerequisite is having a cli which will allow us to create all the resources for example lambda functions and checking a CloudWatch log group for log retention and updating and log retention also. So basically we are going to clone the repository and then change some environment variables so that we can go ahead and deploy it. And most important of them all is the S3 bucket where this CloudFormation template will be deployed and from there the CloudFormation will copy the resources and create your Lambda functions, the IAM roles and permissions for that. So let me just run through the resources now. There is no uh, templates as of now in my account you can see this is the bucket that I'm going to use you probably want to create a new bucket and update the deployment script with that and there are no stacks which is created and likewise there are no lambda functions also and I have four log files and all of them are set to never expire and we are going to set an expiry of 14 days and this is the CloudWatch log group rules which will be running every 24 hours so that my log group uh, retention is enforced so let us begin by cloning this repository so first I'm going to add execute permissions for my helper deployment scripts and I'm going to next modify them and here you can see the bucket name my bucket name is 011 it is updated correctly if you want go ahead and change it and if you want to change the template name also go ahead and change them here so once you are done with it just going to save it and once you're done you are ready to deploy one most important step is under the source directory you will find only the bash script and the python script that is driving the lambda function is not there if you need them go ahead and put a message in the comment section or send an email to the galaxy let me copy it from my private repository to here now that file has been copied let us go ahead and deploy our stack so the stack is going to pack everything that is the code the lambda functions and then the stack and put it into an s3 bucket and from there a cloud formation stack will be created let us go to our console and see what is happening there the binary blob of the stack is being uploaded here and this is the identifier let us go ahead and refresh our screen and see what the stack is doing now you can see here there is a new stack let us go to our events and it is setting up all the necessary resources for example it is setting up the IAM role and then adding the cloud formation function also if I go to my functions you can see here there is a function here and likewise in a short while there will also be a rule will be created and this rule will be tagged to my cloud formation function here as a trigger so basically we can wait for 24 hours and see whether the event is executed or we can just go ahead and set up a sample event because this event is not being considered i'm just going to send up a sample and going to set it up as test so let us click on this and if it is all successful, I should be getting a message saying my log retention has been set and it will say which log file has been updated to what value. You can see here for this log group, log retention has been set as one day and one day here. And if I go to my uh, script, the retention value is set up as a variable and we can go ahead and change it or there is an environment variable also. You can see here the environment variable is one. I'm just going to change it to 14. Before going to change it here, you can see here it is never expired. And right now it is one day. If I'm going to change it to 14 and click on save and I'm going to test it again. And once it is completion of uh, execution, let us go to our CloudWatch log group and we can see, check it out here. You can see it is updated to 14 days. So this is how you set up log retention for your account and this will do it in all the regions also. So if you want to go ahead and do this in your account, go ahead and put them in the comment section and we can communicate with each other. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.